Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Micah and this is Make It With Micah where I focus on affordable DIYs and decor. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me again. In today's video, I am going to show you three ways to make over the $1 mini dollhouses that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I had so much fun making these dollhouses over and I hope that I inspire you to create something beautiful. Okay guys, so if you are familiar with the Dollar Tree, then you have probably seen these adorable little mini dollhouses. They come in two styles, but I focused on this style. The first thing I did was to spray paint all of the houses with this primer from Rust-Oleum. You don't have to do this, but it helped the paint to stick better. Now before I dive into everything that I did, I just want to show you these adorable buttons that I found at Hobby Lobby. They are currently 40% off, so about $1.70, and I use these to embellish my dollhouses. I got these online, they should still be available, so I definitely recommend looking for them. They are so cute, and they are the perfect addition to the dollhouses. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I am going to start with my Santa themed dollhouse. The first thing I did was to paint the bottom red and the top white using some chalk paint. Once everything was dried, I grabbed this faux snow from the Dollar Tree. I coated the roof with some Mod Podge and then I sprinkled the faux snow all over that roof. Next, I grabbed these mini reefs um, that are also from Hobby Lobby and I placed them on the windows of my little house using some hot glue. Now we are going to cover the door with some craft paper. All of the craft paper that I'm going to share in this video came from Michael's. I really wanted to stick to like a traditional Christmas color, so I found one that I thought would be a good fit. I then used my X-Acto knife to cut it very carefully, and I placed that on the door with some Mod Podge. And here is what it looked like. I think it is just perfect. If you haven't checked out the craft paper at Michael's, you are definitely missing out. Next, I grab the Santa buttons from Hobby Lobby that I shared earlier and these stocking buttons and I put them on the house. Before doing that, I just wanna share how I added this reef around the door. So what I did was I cut it in half I removed the bow, but I saved the bow. And then I just unbent the reef and draped it around the door. I did that for the other side and then I hot glued them down and I added the bow to the top of the door. Have you guys started decorating for Christmas yet? Or have you started crafting for Christmas? I know it's a bit early, but I like to get a head start. So by the time November comes, I have a lot of crafts ready to go and I'm ready to decorate.
my favorite holiday of the year is definitely Christmas. It's more than a holiday to me. It's more like a season, um, but I just love it. I just love everything that it represents and it just makes me so happy. Okay, so as you can see with the roof, I decided to paint the middle part red so that it would pop out a little bit. And then I added another wreath to the roof. Let me know in the comments which season is your favorite season of the year. Also let me know if there are certain kinds of Christmas crafts that you wanna see. I'll be happy to try to make them for you guys. As you can see, I am just having the best time adding these buttons all over this house. I kind of just, you know, decorated as I went along. I really didn't have a plan, but they are just so fun, you guys. And this is what the house looked like. I used some more of a reef to add sort of like a bush at the bottom of the house. And then I added some little reindeer climbing up the roof. I just think it is so, so cute. What do you guys think? Okay, so I wanna share now a gingerbread version of this house. Um, so what I did is I grabbed this paint from Walmart. It's in the color Chestnut from the brand Apple Barrow. And I painted the house with that color. I thought it was the perfect sort of brown tone to mimic a gingerbread. Now we are going to add the icing to the top of the house. And to do so, I'm gonna use this Slick Paint by Tulip. I found this at Joann's. Um, I've also used the Puffy Paint. I think the Slick Paint is actually easier to work with than the Puffy Paint, but I think you could probably just use both. Um, but this worked out really well. It wasn't too thick, it was the right consistency, and it was easy to manipulate. Okay, so once it was finished, but before the paint dried, I grabbed some really fine glitter that I had on hand. It's from Walmart. And I very carefully sprinkled some glitter on top of that paint. Now you wanna really be careful not to shake your roof too much. Just kind of sprinkle it on and maybe like tap it off or just leave it on until it's dried because those paint lines will start to shift and move around. Okay, so now it was time to work on the bottom of our house. And I grabbed another one of those paper packs from Michael's and I picked up a sheet that had peppermints on it because as you will see, this little gingerbread house has like a peppermint theme and um, I thought this paper was perfect. I then grabbed some of these straws that I had on hand. I like to keep straws on my coffee bar and I had these on hand from last year. They come in a huge pack from Amazon and I decided to use them as like little lollipops on my house. I attached again some of those um, peppermint buttons to the house. I mean, you can see how many embellishments are here, <laughs> but I just think it's so cute. I mean, I really probably overdid it a bit, but I just couldn't stop once I got started. It's hard to pick which one of these houses is my favorite, but um, I do have one more to share with you guys that I love. It's in one of my favorite colors, which is pink. And here it is. It's another sort of like gingerbread house. For this house, I used um, some more of those buttons. Again, more of that Michael's craft paper. And I also use these pearls that are found at Dollar Tree in the crafter section. They don't have holes in them. They are perfect for crafting. And I just glued those on with my hot glue. I just love how this one turned out as well. For the roof, I painted it and then I added some of that fine glitter um, because I wanted sort of like a different look versus the snow. 
and here are all of our three houses put together, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna share how you can sort of make a cute little scene with your houses using some more items that you can find at the Dollar Tree. But let me know which one of the three is your favorite. I know it's kind of hard to choose, right? Maybe you don't like any of them. I love them all. Okay, so I grabbed this mirror. It's like a hexagonal shaped mirror that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I thought I had three. It turns out I only had two, but that's okay. Um, and then I grabbed some more of that faux snow. And what we're gonna do is make sort of like a little scene with our houses. Incidentally, the houses fit perfectly inside the mirror. I also grabbed these mini bottle brush trees that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And then I also had these LED light trees that are also from the Dollar Tree. They can turn on and they flash different colors. This is just to give you a few ideas of how you could display your houses. I didn't glue these down to the mirror because I want to use the mirror again, um, but it's an option. Okay, you guys, and that is it. Here are our little houses and their little displays. I had so much fun making these, you guys. I stayed up one night until like two o'clock in the morning making these little houses because they were just so much fun. And you can really be so creative. I mean, the sky is the limit. You can pick different colors, different candy themes. It's just so much fun, you guys. I hope you love them. I hope you felt inspired. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I have lots and lots of fun Christmas stuff planned. I hope I can get through all of it. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.